Hello and welcome back to a special edition of Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today this one is about our families and Easter. If you celebrate Easter and you like to hunt Easter eggs, I've got a special treat for you. This is a fun, unique way of hunting for Easter eggs. Everybody hunts for a dozen in their own little egg carton with their name on it. And you can see right here, these are some um, other family members' boxes, and we decided to make some of our own. So I'm going to show you how we did it. But what we do is we put letters for Happy Easter spelled out that needs 11 letters and one extra with a flower on it. See how there are letters underneath these eggs? And that's how the kids know where to put the eggs. So when they're searching, they're just gonna go, oh, do I have an E, do I have an A? And then if they've already got that letter, they just pass it up and let their brother or sister or cousin or whoever's behind them get the next letter that they need. And then there's this one little extra spot for the 12th letter and you could put a flower or a cross or a bunny or whatever you wanna do. So um, the kids will, um, you know, if they're old enough, they'll know that certain letters are capital letters, like an E here, and then they replace them in the right one. Um, so they can do it for all ages. And we have family that do it now in their um, teenagers. Your little flower one can be special and have money as they get older, and you can just put little jelly beans or whatever in the other ones, and they just stack up and store for the next year. It's a lot of fun, so let's show you how to do it. So we've taken some um, paper that you would normally use for scrapbooking and um, then we've got a bunch of um, sticky letters with um, foam that we're gonna make the names on and then we've got a bunch of these egg cartons and uh, we're just gonna take those and cut them out with your um, little rolling cutter or uh, your scissors and then just flap them over the boxes and kind of cut and score and however you want to decorate your box and um, we just kind of cut around here and then we're using a Mod Podge with a sponge uh, applicator and we're just kind of painting it on the back and then applying that um, use whatever you think um, you think will last for you you could Mod Podge and, podge and gloss over the top of it um, we've covered up all the wording on these particular ones and we picked different papers for the different kids um, I'm making them here for my kids and some of the cousins and then um, you can even take them and template them out if you've got several that are the same um, this one we've put the letters on there and now we've made our own little decorations and stuck them on the side and then we've also so got the little letters that um, go up underneath and then we've got some Mod Podge that we um, to make it last longer so we're painting in the bottom part letting it dry painting on the top letting that dry so that the stickers will stay and um, hopefully not pull out and then this extra little spot is the special sticker uh, egg that has um, whatever you want to put on it and uh, here we have all of the different ones that we created that we're going to store every year and you have happy kids and they have a lot of fun hunting for these eggs so i'm really glad that you got to tune in to good knit kisses thanks again happy easter and happy hunting have a great time bye bye yay